Welcome to Haxby Shed again. A few weeks ago, a friend of a friend asked if I could machine the front brake caliper carriers for his Audi A4. And now another friend of a friend has asked me to do much the same, but with some slightly different carriers, which will be used on an Audi S3. But before we get into that, I've had my COVID jab. AstraZeneca, first jab, but from what I've read, that will give me 65% protection against getting COVID and 95% protection against getting seriously ill and having to go to hospital. And in the UK, about 45% of all adults have now had their first vaccination at least. So that's good. Anyway, let's have a look at these. These are aftermarket carriers and they need to be adapted to suit the brake calipers that the guy wants to fit. And what he's looking for is five millimeters off this face here. Now I've measured these two to check that they're the same and to give me some kind of datum. But actually this one is 19 millimeters thick here on this web and this one is only 18.25. So even as new, they weren't that fussy about how thick they were. So they want it machining all the way along here and it's quite an easy job for the shaper. Now to be clear, I don't take any design responsibility for this and they understand that. I'm just the machinist. If their brake falls off, that's their problem. So I was gonna use the large vise, but what I've discovered is this here is 100 millimeters, four inches, and it just sits over this jaw. So that's perfect. So I'll put some parallels underneath that just to space it up to the right level. I need about 30 mil parallels. I've already cleaned up this face a little bit. In terms of clamping that in the vise securely, that's pretty ideal. The stroke needs to be eight, eight and a half inches, something like that. So I'll set that through this side door over here. Yeah. Not the easiest thing to do. Okay, now to set the speed. I need to select a speed of about 20 meters per minute. When I look at this table and I look down from 200 millimeters or eight inches stroke, I can see 23.2 meters per minute down there. And if I read across this way, I can see that this needs to be pushed in. So let's do that to give us the low speed range. And then I can adjust the inverter drive, the VFD drive, to give me 23.2. I'll know that when it's on its fastest speed. That'll give me a starting point anyway, and then I can adjust it for the best cut. Next, I need to adjust the stroke position. So I've turned the flywheel over until the ram is in its most forward position for the stroke that I've set. And then I can just slide this forward, the ram forward, until it just clears this end here. And so, that should be set now for speed, stroke and position. So I'll check it. I think that'll do it. I need to set this crank so that the table is advanced on the back stroke. I need to set the position of the crank pin to give me the right amount of advance. And in this case, I'm going to set it so that I get one click 
which is 0.1 millimetres or fourth hour advance with every stroke. I can build it up to two clicks or three clicks depending on how this is cutting. I'm going to set the tool a bit lower in its holder because by the time this has all moved down by five millimetres this bottom side of the tool holder could catch one of these bosses. After a bit of checking and messing I've touched off so I'm now putting on a half millimetre cut and we'll see how it goes. Actually before I start I need to drop the leg otherwise known as front table support. There we go. That's the first one done. The original thickness was 18.25 but I've taken it down to 13.5. This other one starts out at 19 but I'll take them both down to the same thickness, 13.5. Happy with that, it's not bad at all. So it just sits on very nicely there, and this holds it completely steady this way. Make sure it's flat, and I'll tap that down. That's the second one done. The roughing cuts that I was doing there were a one millimetre cut with a 0.1 millimetre feed at about 60 strokes per minute. And if you prefer it, that's 40 thou at a 4 thou feed. Putting this leg down here makes a huge difference, more than I realised when I first got the shaper. And I think it would cut more than a mil on this steel if I wanted. When I first got the shaper I measured this table and there's about a four thou drop towards the front. But all the operation of the slides and so on were pretty stiff at the time. Now that I've run it in and the slides are moving freely I really need to give it a service and uh, see if I can get that droop, that drop, out of the table because otherwise it's pretty accurate. Anyway, I'll get this out and now I'll clean it up and I'll countersink these holes to just make them look a bit smarter. So over to the drill. I got a set of countersinks from eBay and I'm going to use this one. blew them off with an airline and gave them a quick washing brake cleaner and now they're done. I hope that was useful to you. Thank you for watching. Hacksby Shed.